Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you see this, I would like to offer your elemental energy reading for the month of November 2024 for the element of fire. Fire covers the zodiac signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. If you're interested as to why I read for the elements and not the zodiac, I have a video linked in the description. Um, with that, I also have a natal chart in the description that you can check out. It has the basic uh, astrology chart and then it gives you 10 to 20 pages of really good information about what your sign is, what all the <laughs> symbols mean, because I struggle with that with astrology. But it also gives you your elemental alignment, so you can check that out below. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, you know, like, comment, all that fun internet <laughs> video stuff. We will start off with also all of my products that I'm using, the books, the decks, everything is linked in the description as well. Um, we'll start off with an overall look at the entire month of November, then we'll break it down week by week. So with the I Ching, fires hexagram and I cast this before the video so it'd be a little bit faster it is number 13 and it is lovers beloved friends like-minded persons universal brotherhood sounds pretty nice right we'll see <laughs> uh, lovers or friends in the open success it is advantageous to cross the great river or sea the superior man will benefit if he does not slacken his righteous persistence so the basic text here is saying when you have people who are on your side who are working with you everything is open to you at that point your success is pretty much guaranteed when it says to cross the great river or sea it could be overcoming a challenge it could be actually completing a project it could be pushing through that last little bit of resistance to complete whatever it is that you're working on basically you are ready to go this is your time to shine there's still a little bit of effort there, but it's available for you if you're willing to act. And the reason I say if you're willing to act, the superior man will benefit if he does not slacken his righteous persistence. In other words, to be the elevated person, just because things are going good doesn't mean you get to slow down. You need to finish this project, you need to push through, and that's where that does not slacken is comes in. So there's still a little bit of work to do for a fire family, but it's things are showing there's a light at the end of the tunnel you're almost there so we'll start through the lines your foundational line the beloved is at the gate no harm this is where you have people who actually are there to support you it could be a partner in this reference it's talking about a singular person that could be your romantic partner that your spouse it could also be a really close friend sometimes they're closer than otherwise um, but the people, the person, there's one person in particular, but the people around you are actually supporting you. When it says they're at the gate, no harm, they're wanting to help you. You're, it's okay to let them help you is what I'm hearing. Your second line, which is the broken one here, his beloved or betrothed, so this is definitely a spouse situation in this instance, is of the same clan as himself, trouble. So <laughs> in the old world, you didn't usually pick people from your own tribe keeping inbreeding down to a lower level you would search one out from a neighboring village which is great that's fine um, and it's usually someone you knew because the villages tended to interact a little bit if not a lot um, and so what this say is saying you don't want to pick someone who's too close to what you're working on to be the partner in this situation it doesn't always work out well to have someone who already well I know that why are you telling me that they're there to support you not to tear you down so this is where you have to make sure that you're picking the right type of people to work with you as you're going forward in November your third place line concealing his weapons in the bushes he climbs his high hill for three years he enjoys no happiness so <laughs> When you put your weapons aside, it means you're just not going to be the aggressor in the situation. But that doesn't always mean that things are going to be better for you. And that's what that's saying. Um, there's a footnote here. His cowardice 
was so great that he dared not seek home, wife, or children for three years. The implication is that boldness at all costs is required. So, and that's the footnote to the does not enjoy happiness part. Basically, you're putting stuff away. You're trying to hide your skills. You're trying to hide your talents. And this month, November, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Because for three years, he enjoys no happiness. What they break that down to mean is when you are not willing to step forward and actually do the work, it's seen in certain eyes as a kind of cowardly way of living life. You're not being authentic to your dreams. You're not being authentic to your goals. You're not being authentic to yourself. And that always leads to being a little bit more unhappy and a little bit more frustrated with just, I can't believe it's not working. This is so unfair. But did you do everything in your power to push forward? Well, I didn't want to hurt that person's feelings. Their feelings are not your problem. And that's what they're saying is you have to be willing to do the hard things to get your success. And if someone is offended by something you do or say, that's them. As long as you're not actively hurting that person, their opinion, their feelings, that's on them. And they need to work through that. But you can't be bothered with that or it will slow you down. So our, where are we at? Fourth place line. <laughs> he climbs his battlement wall for he is unable to attack good fortune. You're climbing your own guards. You're looking around seeing who's out there to attack me. I need to be paying attention, which is fine. But you hid your, tool, your, tool, your uh, weapons so you can't attack anybody. That's actually not a bad thing because you're going up there and you're not you're looking for an enemy that doesn't exist is what i'm hearing so when you get to that point where you're looking around like who's going to be in my way who's challenging me no one they're there to throw verbal insults or to make comments that's fine keep your comments over there because you have a you have goals that you're working towards fire this month is the end game like you're heading to the completion of these projects the other people can have their opinions and that's fine over there you have a mission you have a goal you have things that you've been working on stay focused on what it is that's important to you let them deal with their own drama simple enough <laughs> your fifth place line we're almost to the top the lovers lovers begin by weeping and wailing before but they finish by laughing for the crowd succeeds in bringing them together. This is where other people's nonsense drama, if you will, is going to kind of in, try to infect the partnership that you have built on this journey towards your goal. And the best part about this is, is the more they try to stir things up, the closer you and your partner, whether that's a business partner, a romantic partner, however that manifests for you, the more they try to stir the pot and stir the drama, the more they have to lick the drama spoon. It's not theirs to interfere with. This is something that you have set up with the divine. The divine's not going to let them really interfere unless you open that door. So stay focused on your goals. That is the one thing this month that I'm hearing is stay focused on your goals. Our capstone. Her beloved is in the distant frontier region. No regret. So... Even though fire, and you can be male, male or female with this, doesn't matter. Even though you have strived, you have pushed really hard to meet these goals, these ambitions, there might be a little bit of distance that occurs. It's not going to be permanent. No regrets means it's not going to be a bad thing. It doesn't mean it's long term. You're caught up in the whirlwind that you created. So your goals, your dreams, your ambitions at this point in your life, they are going to completion one way or another. <laughs> Best be ready for the ride. And some people, especially your close partnerships, could feel that you're a little distant by the end of the month. It's not that you're distant. You're a little bit ahead of them. You're waiting for them to catch up. That's where the no regrets comes in. It's because it's not an ending. It is a okay so i'm here waiting for you guys to catch up it's not a long-term distance it's not a permanent distance it's only temporary so with that we'll wrap up the I Ching and move into the tarot and oracle i read for the 
I read week to week. There's four weeks, uh, give or take, in November. We'll just do four sets. Um, I read a guide or guardian, which is a guide to guide you through the week or a guardian to help deal with any uh, unexpected unpleasantness that may show up. A message from source, which is just a positive affirming message for you. And then a lesson or challenge from the tarot. And it could be a lesson to work on. It could be a little bit of an unknown that's popping in as a challenge. Um, and I read them first, second, third, fourth, but they might show up for you in a different pattern. And that's fine too. So, um, you know, these are general readings. They're for fun. Take what works, leave the rest for someone else. With that, we'll get started with our first week of November's Guide or Guardian. And we have... How did I get straw on my computer? That's weird. Anyway, <laughs> we have Earth and Ground is your guide. These are angels that are helping you. They're coming in to remind you that this month is going to be a quick moving month. This is a good time to, especially before the snow flies, if you live in the north, um, go outside for the last time, put your feet on the ground, really anchor into that heart of Gaia, really center yourself because once things get rolling this month, it's going to be a pretty busy <laughs> month. And this first week of November is really a time to just recenter, find your balance before the real push kicks in. And it's interesting that this month is going to be a busy month because this is, if you're in the United States anyway, this is the month of Thanksgiving. This is kind of a quiet month. You've got a little bit of a break with the kids. You wouldn't think that there's big goals there. But whatever you've been working on fire, this is the time where it's going to be manifesting and it could actually include all of that into a higher frequency. So don't think that just because a message is coming through that that's an odd time of the year. Divine timing is not so much our timing, so things to think about. Uh, your message from source is tools fire you have all of the tools that you need you have been granted the gifts to complete the projects you are working on god source divine is coming in to say you have this guys you're almost there you this is the encouragement you need you might pick up that one tool or that one skill or that one person even that is going to help speed things into completion this month and this first week as you're grounding as you're finding your center and you're balancing because it's going to get a little bit busy here the tools are going to come to you as they are required so you might not see it immediately it may show up as the most random thing in the world give it time it'll have a purpose is what i'm hearing so let's check out what the tarot has to say for a lesson or a challenge we have the High Priestess. This is Major Arcana Energy. This is number two in the tarot. It's trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. I'm getting this is a lesson and a reminder. It's not so much a challenge. Could be because fire doesn't like to sit still. But, <laughs> but take the time this first week to really anchor and meditate, focusing on the completion of the goal, not, not the steps in between where you're at right now in the completion only look at the completed mission what it is that you are trying to create what it is that your heart your drive your desire has been building the high priestess is coming in to say you have a connection to God's source divine especially the feminine aspect of it this first week and that is going to help you in subtle ways where it's going to be your subconscious your subtle energy and that's where some of these other tools come in it could be one of your clairs kicks up this week and is like gives you that genius aha moment of that's what i need to do but what i'm hearing is meditation and being quiet and stillness journaling if you don't meditate is a way to trigger that response sorry <laughs> need a quick drink So let's look at our second week guide or guardian in our second week is raise your vibration these angels come in to help you elevate where you're at and when it says raise your vibration it could be one or two decimals it could be a whole octave but you're setting yourself up for success in the second week because you've already set 
a plan in motion. At this point, it's kind of, you're along for the ride, everything's going to be completed one way or another. <laughs> so when you raise your vibration, it actually puts you into a state of ease and flow, and that allows things to move faster and more cleaner for you. When you're raising your vibration, you're working with angels like Metatron, you're working with angels like, um, I completely just bl blanked the name, Saint Germain. <laughs> you're working with these higher frequency energies because they are here to help guide, to influence, to uplift us. They have already been uplifted. Um, Metatron was the prophet Enoch. He s reached heaven without seeing death. Saint Germain was a alchemist who achieved immortality and passed beyond our world into the next layer of uh, reality, fourth density, fifth dimension, whatever term you want to use, and is now coming back in and out to help us raise our vibration. Meditation is a great tool for that, and connecting into Gaia is another one because Gaia is on her own. The planet itself is on its own journey for uplift, uplift <laughs> enlightenment and higher vibration. So when you anchor and connect back into her as well, it's going to help you lift as just because she's on that upward trajectory. So your message from source is effort. Your effort is not going to be active this month. You will have things to do. Don't get me wrong. It's not going to be like you're going to sit down and just, world's going to hand me everything on a golden platter. Not going to happen. What it's saying is your effort is going to be minimal, but you still have work to do. It doesn't mean you can just sit back and like, I'll just meditate all day and everything will come to me. We're not there yet. <laughs> but your effort is going to be such that the joy, I mean, check out that kid's face. He's working, but he's having fun. And that's what they're saying is your effort is actually going to be more of a enjoyable thing, almost like you're playing, but you're getting a lot accomplished, which is even better. So, and I'm hearing that if your effort is for children, enjoy the journey on that one. And I don't know why that popped up, but they're being a little bit loud right now. So <laughs> your uh, lesson or challenge is the six of spring wonderful news is on its way smart choices bring rewards success and public recognition don't let the fact that you're getting these things and everything's turning up roses go to your head that's a little bit of a uh, challenge i'm hearing is everything's going really well for you right now and that could let your ego kick up a little bit the six of spring is saying yeah it's all happening enjoy what's going on just don't let it, you know, get that ego kicked in and be like, ha, look what I got to do. I am so special. It, not the best decision. But enjoy the fruits of re your reward. You know, you've put in the work, Fire. You've done a lot heading towards your goals is what I'm hearing. So, and even if those goals are something as simple as getting up consistently at 5 o'clock in the morning so that you can go to the gym and you're doing your final weigh-in in November, so be it. You have put in the work, you put in the effort, be proud of yourself for the work that you have done. And that's what the Six of Spring is saying is, you've put in the work, dude, enjoy the rewards of what you have accomplished. Your third week's guide or guardian are the angels of spiritual growth. When we talk about spiritual growth, this is that maturing of the spirit. A lot of times when you first start out on the journey of spiritual development, you're looking for physical things. You're working with law of attraction. You're working with the uh, the secret, like Rhonda Byrne talks about. You're working towards the physical needs and wants of your life. You know something's missing. You're trying for that, but you kind of got to deal with the daily day to day first. Spiritual growth is saying now that you're starting to see how that plays out in life and things are settling down, like you're getting the things that you need, some of the things that you want as well. Now that you're getting that, the spiritual aspect of life is kicking in where you're like, oh, meditation helps me focus and visualize, but it also brings me closer to my guides and guardians. It also connects me back into God's source divine. These different tools that I've learned help me understand the heart of the creative source more clearly so that I can actually go through life in a much more positive and connected way. So your spiritual growth has been going on behind the scenes. You might have you might have been aware of it. I'm not saying that. But it's one of those things where even when you're focused on something else, 
because you're doing things in the proper way, you're doing things in a spiritual way of soul development as well, you're actually changing your existence, you're changing your vibration, and in doing so, you're influencing the world around you. So your work that you've been working on fire has been doing a lot behind the scenes that you may not be aware of. Your, seriously, your, <laughs> your uh, message from source is intermingle. As you grow, spiritually develop, as you're going through and you've been putting in all this effort towards these missions, these goals, seeking that which you're more than willing to put the work in on, it has actually bonded you together with the people who are on this journey with you. As you've all grown, as you've all developed, you have intermingled your success with each other. As you achieve a goal, so do they. As they achieve goals, so do you. Fire, this third week, really take in account of how the people around you have supported you. Enjoy the company. Enjoy their presence. Uh, just like it talked with the I Ching, you go up to your battlements, basically, but you forgot your weapons. But there's no enemy because you are all working together. You've all basically bonded yourself to similar goals. And if one succeeds, you all succeed. And that's what they're saying. And even if one fails, there's the rest of you are succeeding and you're going to drag the other person along. You're going to support them. You're going to uplift them. You're going to basically help them succeed even in spite of what may have happened. So this is really looking like a good month for our fire family. Your lesson or challenge from the tarot is the eight of winter. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you've, you're powerless when you're not. A lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. This is where we talk about success and failure because even if it might seem at some point, you know, like I said in the I Ching, ah, error, there's, this is a bad period, it doesn't mean that you failed. Failure only occurs when you stop. Plain and simple. The Eight of Winter is saying you have what it takes to complete anything that you put your mind into. Anything you tie that fiery soul of yours into completing, you will finish. Unless you get bored. Unless you get distracted. Unless you put your tools and weapons down and then bury yourself for three years in unhappiness. Don't allow what other people's feelings, thoughts, and opinions are. Now, if it's constructive criticism, that's a little different. But some people are just straight up mean. <laughs> and don't let that influence how you go. You are stronger than you know. You're smarter than you understand. And you have been given gifts that you have not even begun to develop yet. Even if you've been practicing for 30 years and you have a whole list of talents, skills, and gifts that you know about, there are more and that's what source is bringing forward as a lesson this week it doesn't really matter what's going on you still have a lot of blessing left to receive you have a lot more grace and gifts from heaven waiting for you don't give up because of a stubbed toe so your last week's guide or guardian are the angels of honesty and communication honest with yourself being honest with others, communicating clearly and concisely with yourself, with God, Source Divine, and with all of those around. When you work with honesty, you walk in integrity. When you understand what it means to truly walk with integrity, your yes means yes, your no means no. When you have a mission, you will complete it. This last week is saying you have achieved greatness in your little bubble could be a big bubble don't know where you're at <laughs> but you have achieved greatness stay open to communication constructive criticism not the negative stuff stay open with the communication with your partner even if there happens to be a little bit of distance as it says with the I Ching you know there's a little bit of distance but no regrets meaning don't close people out just because of a stubbed toe stay focused on the growth aspect this last week because you have, by the end of the month, they're saying you will have achieved at least, if not the completion of all of the goal, you will have gotten so much further than you could have possibly imagined that it's like you've already achieved it. 
And that's what they're saying is be upfront and honest. Don't be like, well, I didn't get this and this and this with my goal. I can't believe it failed. It didn't. You're not being honest with yourself. Look at everything that did happen. You listed three, 12 of those rest of them did happen. Be honest and upfront with yourself. Be open to the communication here and hear what other people have to say. You might be surprised what comes through this fourth week. Your lesson or your message from source is companionship. The, those closest to you are going to be companions for a while. This month was, as it said in the third week, the intermingling part. You are bonding with these people. These people, because you've been on a journey together, each of you has jo uh, uh, rejoiced in the joy of others' success. You've all rejoiced with your success. You have encouraged when there has been issues. That has built lifelong companionships. Fire this month is really saying everything that has happened is going to be a success if you let it. The whole thing that I'm hearing is the companionship that you have developed on your journey, the growth potential that you have opened yourself up to have all been to set you up for the greatest successes in life. That doesn't always mean money. The greatest successes in life are to be at peace, to find joy, not hee 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 happy joy, laugh giggly, but inner joy where you just are in a good state all the time, most of the time. <laughs> You have friends or a partner who truthfully loves you and you are just devoted to them as well. You're building so much more than just money. And that's what the companionship is. The companionship is that bonded friendship, that bonded connection to another person. That's the important things that are going to tie into your success this month. Your last week's uh, lesson or challenge is the King of Autumn compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and gifted. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right, everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. You could become that company that they're working for, that person that someone wants to work for. But it's also saying, do not allow yourself to be, well, wishy-washy, because I just don't know. Be assertive when it's necessary. Know how to stand up. Your yes means yes. Just like the Guardian for this week says, honesty and communication, be open and honest, but don't take anyone's guff. So, overall, fire. This is going to be a month that is going to go pretty good overall. I see a little stub toe along the way, but it's not going to interfere unless you let that stub toe fester. Everything is looking very positive. Your success is going to be in what you accomplish, not the full final destination, even though... The I Ching is really saying you're going to reach the fin finality of whatever it is you're working on, but enjoy the trip. It, this is the end game for it. Enjoy this ride. It's going to be an amazing ride this month. So with that, I will let you guys go. Have a great rest of your month. Enjoy that ride. Keep some bandages with you for that stub toe, and I will see you in the next video.